Hi everyone, I'm going to tell a story of Gunwan Kuyu, a tale of Indonesia I mean told by Harold Corlander. Everywhere in Java, Sumatra, and Celebes, the people know the two men named Gunwan Kuyu. When they hear these names, they have a big smile. One day, a man named Gunu persuaded his companion Koyo to rob an old haji. So during the night, they dig a hole to get inside the haji's house by digging near the wall. After digging the hole, Gunu gets inside and Koyo is the one who watch to look for strangers and guard Gono from outside. Gono gets the bubbles the old Haji owned. But when came out, Gono saw the Haji's beautiful and colorful robe. So he wear it, then go out. He thought that it was the old Haji. So he screamed out that the Haji is outside. So the people in the community has been alarmed. And for that, they all get out and the two thieves run and would put away the robes while running to the plains until they have arrived in the end of the river where people is rushed coming to them thinking that if someone would jump and tell if the river how deep Koyo said go first and I'll follow so gonna take a deep breath and jump but the river red is dry and it has no water but when Koyo asked how it is Gono acted like swimming in the dry riverbed. The people from the town arrived. As seeing the two out from the ledge of the riverbed, they said, Hey, the two of you, go here and accept your punishment. But then, as Gunu acted swimming, because Kuyu was also embarrassed, he also acted swimming as Gunu does. And as people seeing them had laughed as long as they can. That's why people seeing someone trying to escape from their punishment by doing a ridiculous act which seems to be erroneous, the people always say, don't go swimming on a dry riverbed. I am Kim Zara Lafonte from GE Ed 1. Thank you.